Of course, one of the main aspects of Bloodborne is going to be its combat, so let's go over some of the basics to how this operates. Each of your trick weapons is going to list the number of attacks that it can do. These attacks are going to have a speed, damage associated with them, and a variable ability. When you make an attack, you'll take one of the skill cards from your hand and place it on the slot of your trick weapon. This is going to augment the attack in some way. You'll then reveal an enemy AI card, which is going to show you the attack the opponent is going to be using. Each enemy card lists its basic attack, the attack it's going to use most often, and its special attack, a rare but usually more potent attack. You'll need to pay attention to these attacks because it's going to modify how you should approach each situation. By laying a stat card on an attack, you're going to modify it in some way. Skill cards will make your attacks faster, strength cards will make them deal more damage, endurance cards can help you clear the slot, allowing you to make more attacks in that same turn, and vitality cards will allow you to heal after the attack deals damage. Your weapon itself is also going to change how you attack. For example, you might be using the threaded cane slash serrated whip trick weapon. This means that you're going to specialize in very fast but low damage dealing attacks. Conversely, a hunter might be using Ludwig's Holy Greatsword, which is going to deal high damage but at a slower speed. An attack's speed is one of its most important aspects, as attacks are resolved in speed order, meaning that an attack that is fast is going to resolve itself before an attack that is slow. Hunters are going to have to make choices on how they approach a situation. Going against a fast enemy, it might be best to match them speed for speed with fast attacks, or, if that option is not available, I might have to find ways to mitigate the damage they're going to deal to me first, and then hit them back with an even more powerful blow. My weapon, as well as the attacks featured in that weapon, are drastically going to change how I approach each situation. If I'm playing Ludwig's Holy Greatsword, I might want to spec into Vitality, meaning that even though I'm going last, I'm going to heal up for all the damage I deal with my giant, heavy blows. If I'm playing a faster weapon, though, I can spec into Speed to deal more damage at a faster rate. Or I could decide to start buying additional skill cards, which will grant me benefits for attacking faster. It's this dynamic of knowing what my weapons are capable of, my overarching strategy, as well as what the enemy is capable of, which really feel expands the tactical aspects of combat when it comes to Bloodborne. We've removed as much luck out of the situation as we can. The results of each combat are primarily going to be determined by the choices you made as a player and how you approach each engagement. Combat should not be taken lightly in Bloodborne. Every foe is a threat. There's no such thing as an easy target. And they can very quickly send you back to the Hunter's Dream if you just go into a fight recklessly and don't properly prepare in how to deal with their attacks. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way.